Hello guys, back at the shop. I wanted to do a little experiment. This externally balanced, I just wanted to spin it up and see how much imbalance was in the crank without having to uh, add weight. And uh, we're spinning the crank up. And we're roughly, we got about 94 grams and 84. It's about 180 degrees apart. Uh, let's put our uh, external balance dampener. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I uh, uh, spun it up off camera. I put our harmonic balancer on and our uh, flywheel. These uh, units came from a 440 source. And uh, you can see the weight they add in the back of the dampener for the external balance and uh, we're going to talk about the problem uh, so okay I'm at angle 83 in the back I'm heavy 8.1 grams on the front at angle 17 I'm uh, 19.6 that's not good uh, number one is uh, and some of you guys watch the channel on my wheel here uh, the back I usually put the number one throw straight up top dead center the rear I try to have between 90 and 0 that would be right over this area of the counterweight be right in this zone of course zero be in the center where that hole is right there and so it's not too bad it's a little bit off in the position but we can fix that but the front uh, it's heavy opposite of uh, where the weights at so what that means the weights not heavy enough so off camera I drill a hole back here. I come back to, uh, you, you see some guys doing balancing videos and they're talking about balancing the center counterweights and going all the way back. This is one example I'm having to do that. And, uh, and I'm not gonna get into that whole debate on all that stuff, but let's uh, spin it up and see what we got. Get my thumb out of the way there. Okay, we're starting our spin. We didn't gain that much. Uh, well, let's do it a little more. Make the correction off camera. Okay, this is uh, Ed back at the shop. We just got our uh, crank repolished. We polished the uh, <coughs> rear main seal surface. Uh, now I will hit this one more time just lightly after it comes off the balancer, but there you go. All ready to go. You're fixed up Mopar Joe. And it's a beautiful crankshaft for a standard one. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <clears throat> oh, don't you okay guys this is ed you can uh back of the shop and we're on our uh for finishing up our uh 440 cast crank you can see i removed in here cleaned some of that up drilled here in our crankshaft here i'm gonna a lot of work up on the uh and around here cleaning up the casting and uh, I come back and just to bring it in and tweak it I put two little drill points here in the flywheel and 
We have one in the carbonic balancer. Let's uh, let's spin it up. I've got grease on our uh, stanchions, our blocks, gel rim blocks. Sorry about the bad camera angles, guys. Okay. Here we go. And I always uh, give this, so the, the belt don't have to slip. I just give it a little uh, help. That way it doesn't have to sit there and uh, slip the belt. Saves the belt. Nice and smooth. It's coming up to speed. It's calculating. You can see we're about about 90, 91 in the back, 40, 47, 48 in the front. And uh, oh, we're about 1.3, 1.4 grams in the back, and one gram in the front. And uh, we're gonna static this, and it should count down. And you guys watch the channel. Oh, wrong button. Should count down. Should be less than a half a gram. Or right at it. There you go, 0 0.4 of a gram. 0 0.4, 0 0.5. There you have it. Uh, an awesome balance job it's been a job I didn't really want to have to weld on this crank it was looking like I was gonna have to do it and I didn't really want to do it but I'm very happy with that and uh, there you go this is head back at the shop don't forget to like and subscribe this is our uh, 440 motorhome engine okay I've talked about this before I usually like to have the uh, the front this is up I've got a proximity scanner back here. The light is triggered. Let's see. There you go. You can see the red light. So that means that crank is straight up. I usually got a trick to find out where it's zeroed out but uh i try to have the rear counterweight between 90 and zero and the front between 40 and 50 and as you can see on the wheel that puts it at 180 across that's why when we static it it subtracts our counterweight is heavy our rear counterweight is heavy now the front counterweight is heavy and we're good to go i just thought i would add that uh, thanks for watching.